This is my under $1,000 boat. I bought everything I needed from Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace, and I'm gonna show you how you can do it too. It's not a project boat, it's not a restoration. I just bought things and put them together, and I was boating for under $1,000. Hi, I'm Wayne the Boat Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So lots of people make these videos about how they bought a boat for like $1,000 and then they restore it and they fix it all up. What they don't cover is the additional cost and labor that they put into that $1,000 boat to make it seaworthy. The difference with those videos and this video though is those videos are about somebody who's handy. But what if you don't want to go that route? What if you just want to get out on the water? I made a video about the cheapest new boats you could buy. And basically what I found is that if you're buying a new boat, and you want all new equipment that you're gonna spend probably close to three grand just to get a very basic boat. $3,000, that's kind of a lot of money for some people. You can actually be out on the water for under $1,000. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk through all of the things that I have for this particular boat. Then I'm gonna talk about why it's such a good thing to do. But then I'm also gonna talk about why it's such a bad thing to do, all the negatives of it. First off, let's talk about the main part, the boat. I got this aluminum V-hull 12-foot boat and its trailer for $500. The boat is seaworthy and the trailer is relatively roadworthy. It's an old boat, but it floats. Now with this boat, I was reassured by the seller that it does float and it doesn't leak. And for the most part, it doesn't seem to leak. A little bit of water seeps in every once in a while when I'm out here, but for the most part, it doesn't leak. Next, after a little bit of shopping online, I was able to find this Mercury 2.5 horsepower two-stroke outboard motor. When I went to buy this motor, the owner of it started it up in a barrel for me to show me that it ran. So we got to see it run, so I knew it was a good working motor. I was able to pick this up for $300. But as you know, a boat is more than just a boat and an engine. The Coast Guard requires some safety equipment to be on every boat that has a motor. So I purchased a fire extinguisher for $22, a personal flotation device, vest, for also for $22, and a whistle for $2. In addition, I also bought myself a paddle, just in case something goes wrong with my motor, and some dock line or rope. All of these things combined added up to about $75. Hey, by the way, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like down below. Thank you. Because of the area that I boat in, I needed to get my boat registered. So getting it titled and registered, that cost me about $20. I also purchased this luxury item, which is a cushioned seat with a swivel base that clamps on here. I actually was able to find this as a really good deal. The seat, which is practically new, and the base, which I did buy new, was $50 total. I also purchased these Atwood navigation lights, which I have a video of right up here. Those cost me $48. They are required, but I imagine if I was out in the daytime, nobody would question whether or not I have navigation lights for my boat. Okay, so let's take a look at this. The accessories were $75. The boat and trailer was $500. The outboard motor was $300. Registration cost me $20. Seat and base cost me a total of $50. And the navigation lights ran $48, coming up to a grand total of $993. And you might be able to do it even cheaper because sometimes whenever you go to buy a used boat like this, it may come with a seat on there and an anchor, a PFD, a paddle. It might even come with an outboard motor. Matter of fact, when I bought my John boat, it came with an electric trolling motor. So basically with that particular boat, if I counted that as my motor, I just needed to buy a battery and some safety stuff and I would have been boating for under $500. So for under $1,000, I had everything I needed, but it's really just the basics. And now let's talk about the pros and cons of this under $1,000 boat. Here are some of the fantastic things about this particular type of project. First of all, just the fact that you can have a boat and a trailer and an engine for under $1,000 is pretty cool. The motor runs good and hey, it's a boat. Shopping for this stuff, for some people, I know for me, is quite fun. So it was fun trying to hunt down the pieces that I needed for this. Also, another great thing is that a small boat like this with a small motor, you can pull it with almost anything. 
a car with a hitch on the back can pull this setup right here. It's not big and it's not heavy, so you don't have to have a truck or an SUV to be able to pull this particular setup. So that's a big bonus. And if you have a pickup truck, you don't necessarily need to have a trailer because you could probably put a small 12-foot boat like this in the bed of your truck. That would allow you to be able to buy a larger outboard motor or some additional accessories. So what's bad about this purchase? Well, it is just a 12-foot boat. So a 12-foot boat is pretty small, and in certain kinds of waters, it feels quite small. I cannot take it out into the bay, except on the most perfect of days. The weight capacity that this boat holds with everything is only a little over 500 pounds. So if I weigh 200 pounds, and I have a 50-pound engine on the back, and 50 pounds of gear, I'm at 300 pounds. So I can only take a friend with me who weighs under 200 pounds. Of course, because I bought a 2.5 horsepower motor, it's slow. This boat isn't going any more than six miles an hour. In order to be able to go faster than that, you need a larger outboard motor. Now you might be able to get lucky and find a six or a 10 horsepower motor for a few hundred dollars. And if so, well, that's awesome. And of course, this boat is old and the motor is used. So really these things need a little bit of love, attention and work to improve them. Uh, there's definitely some things that could be fixed and repaired with this boat. Matter of fact, the transom is not in very good shape. So I just need to replace the wood of the transom, which will probably be a winter project. And my trailer. The trailer tires are relatively dry rotted. This boat also doesn't have any rod holders or cup holders or depth finder or any of those types of things. I have some other accessories and things that I've picked up along the way for this boat, like this plastic tote here that I keep my lights in, some of my line, a spare drain plug, a bucket for bailing, and my paperwork registration for this particular boat. So here it is, it's entirely possible to get a boat, a trailer, an engine, and be completely legal for under $1,000. So some people say that boat stands for bust out another thousand, meaning that you're always having to spend another thousand dollars to keep your boat going. This particular boat is boating under a thousand, but, and it is entirely doable. Now with a little bit of hunting and searching, you might be able to find a larger boat. You might be able to find a 14 foot boat, which has a lot of the accessories already with it. And for $500 or so, you might be able to find yourself a six or a 10 horsepower outboard. And then, if so, you're still boating for under $1,000 and you're smiling a little bit bigger because you've got a bigger boat and a bigger engine. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. And I wish you luck with shopping for your next boat purchase because deals are out there. You just have to keep looking around. Here's another video pick just for you and a playlist of videos similar to this one. Be sure to stay safe out there in the water. I think I'm gonna to try to get this boat out on the water today.